This time for the Marx Generator I have an old, barely working JDS Uniphase Helium Neon Gas Laser Tube. This thing's only about 5 inches long, it's a very tiny one. And uh, the bore of this tube shows signs of a lot of sputtering and other issues. This tube will still occasionally produce a sub-1 milliwatt red laser beam, but it's right at end of life and unreliable. To get it to work, I actually had to hook it up to an NST and uh, give it 12,000 volts of AC uh, under Variac control, and that got it to start. So it's not the greatest laser tube. Let's give it a little marks. It's a shame that this laser tube has so little glass and is mostly metal. We can't really see what goes on inside except for maybe the first three quarters of an inch barely at the top, but still I'll hit it with the marks and we'll see what, if anything at all, happens to it. Let's go. Well, there is a tiny orange glow inside the tube each time the marks fire, so let's change the room lighting. I should point out that the tube is not lacing from the Mark's excitation. There is no one milliwatt red laser spot appearing on my ceiling. No laser emission occurred from the Mark's excitation. Just a faint orange glow in the tube. Still interesting. Thanks for watching, and there'll be more to come. This little nearly kaput laser tube did survive the Mark's generator. It's not punctured or physically harmed in any way, still has its gas fill, and might still occasionally give a laser beam. 